Low government students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and I have notes for Chapter 11, Section 1, the Cabinet and the Executive Office of the Presidency, aka the EOP. And as we go along, make sure you're following along. But we're going to talk a little bit about the Cabinet um, for uh, our President. Currently, um, our president is Donald Trump, and these are some of the people that are making up some of his uh, cabinet members. Now, I will say this. Uh, there have been quite a few people who have kind of come and gone from the, the Trump um, White House and, and executive branch, by all means. Uh, and so some of these are, are names that may have even changed since uh, we've kind of these notes together. But one of the things that we need to know is that the cabinet is important in, as far as an institution for helping advise our president. So cabinet basically contains secretaries of each of the 15 executive departments and they advise the president and they help lead the departments. Uh, the most recent of these uh, departments for the most part is the Department of Homeland Security, which was established in the aftermath of 9-11. Uh, but we could go back and look at like some of the original cabinets, like Secretary of State and Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, these are things that, you know, for the most part, help guide our president as far as uh, helping him lead this country. So the Executive Office of the President or the EOP, this gathers information, helps develop policy, it helps advise the president. And if we break this down, um, the EOP would consist of the Office of Management and Budget, National Security Council the Council of Economic Advisors, uh, other EOP agencies, and those people who are in the West Wing of the White House uh, that kind of help our president do their his day-to-day -day activities. So the EOP, uh, this consists of the, of the White House and several specialized agencies that all report directly to the president. Uh, the Office of Management and Budget, this indicates uh, what programs the federal government will pay for and how much it will be willing to spend on each of them. Uh, the, the OMP, um, or the Office of Management and Budget, reviews all uh, legislative proposals of executive agencies it prepares um, what is a review known as central clearance and this is basically um, telling you know people how much money and, and such that they can receive the way congress created the national security council in 1947 to help advise the president uh, and help coordinate American military and foreign policy activities. Uh, when we talk about uh, the Cold War, it's really the Security Council and maybe work with like groups like the CIA. This kind of help, um, I guess you could say, kind of lead our nation into the modern world when we talk about military and security affairs. Anyway, the Special Assistant for National Security is commonly known as the National Security Advisor. Uh, they happen to direct the National Security Council staff. Um, in many cases, our National Security Advisor goes on. Uh, in many cases, if there's a vacancy at the State Department, they will go on to fulfill that. Anyway, the Council of Economic Advisors, this helps the President formulate his economic policies. And occasionally when we have a crisis that rises. Uh, it's really the economic advisors that our president leads on as far as developing policy. Anyway, within the inner circle of the White House, we have uh, some people that work in the West Wing with our president. We have our chief of staff, uh, the White House counsel, the White House staffing that works with Congress, and eventually our press secretary. Anyway, uh, chief of staff, this is a person that gathers information. They provide advice on policy and political issues. They enforce directives uh, from the president. They decide what information and people gain access to the president. Uh, when we talk about White House counsel, this is our president's lawyer. Uh, they advise the president on the legal consequences of their policy decisions. We have our White House staff that works with Congress. They work directly with members of Congress and advise the president about Things that are happening currently on Capitol Hill as far as legislation. They lobby lawmakers uh, to gain support for the president's policy. And then finally, our press secretary, now make this a little larger, there we go, and their staff, uh, they handled the president's relation with the White House press corps. 
that would be, you know, individuals from the major news outlets that, that come and report on what's happening in the White House. They set up press conferences. They issue public statements in the name of the president. So these are all individuals that really help convey the president's um, agenda to the public. Okay. Uh, Chief of staff for a while, we had John Kelly, who was in that role. Um, in recent years, we had Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was our president's press secretary up until about a year ago. Uh, these individuals certainly occasionally come under a lot of flack from the media for um, maybe protecting the president or um, basically being the face of the president's policies. Thank you very much.